Welcome to the Shaman Mix Show here on SeeMyBeach.com. Today I'd like to tell you a story. There was a tribe of Native American Indians that were associated with the uh, Cherokee Nation. And uh, they had uh, a life of connecting with nature and living in harmony with nature. And it was a very pleasant and wonderful life. Tough times in, the diff in different uh, conditions of the weather, and they had to move to their lodges to different locations, but they got along quite well and in harmony with nature. That's the key point here. And even in being in touch and in connection with the spirit and the essence of all that is, they had a situation arise amongst the tribe. So they called the council together, and they brought the whole village together, the whole tribe met, and they discussed what the situation was and they were looking for a solution to it. And they couldn't come up with something that would seem to fit. So one of the elders in the tribe said, look, why don't we do what we did last time? We had this situ a situation like this. We went to the shaman, asked him for his counsel. He gave us his wisdom and his advice and it worked. So let's call on the shaman. So they went to the shaman's uh, lodge and said, Shaman, we have a situation amongst the villagers, and uh, is there any way you feel that it would be in harmony with nature that we could resolve this? And he thought about it for a while, and he said yes. And he told them what his idea was and what, how it would work out. And they all agreed that that was a good solution, and it worked. Everything was in peace and harmony again amongst the villagers, except for one young brave. He didn't take too kindly to the shaman being the know-it-all. He thought something was wrong. The shaman, they shouldn't have to rely on the shaman. He doesn't know everything, and I'm going to prove the shaman wrong. Many moons went by as this brave consistently thought of ways in which he was going to prove to the village that the shaman wasn't the end-all to everything. So, lo and behold, a couple of moons go by, and sure enough, he came up with an idea. And he said, I know, I know what I'm going to do. He says, I'm going to take a chickadee, a little baby chickadee, in my hand, put it behind my back, and say to the shaman in front of everybody in the village, say to the shaman, shaman, I have a chickadee behind my back, in my hand. Is he alive or is he dead? He says, and if the shaman says he's dead, he says, I'll just take it out and show him that he's alive and prove that the shaman doesn't know it all. And if he says he's, he's alive, I will crush the chickadee in my hand and bring it out and show him it's dead. Either way, I will prove that the shaman doesn't have all the answers. So he gathered the villages all together, all the people in the village together, went to the shaman and said, Shaman, I have a chickadee behind my back in my hands. Is he alive or is he dead? The shaman, without missing a beat or flickering of an eyelash, looked him straight in the eyes and said, it's in your hands. And that is the point of what I'm here to bring to you today. It is in your hands. As far as we know in consciousness, we are the only beings that we're aware of at this point that has free choice of will. Free choice of will. Birds, they fly. Fish, they swim. Dogs, they bark. Cats, they meow. We have free choice of will. We're the ones who control our destiny in the realm of connecting with it all and making the choices we do. We have free choice of will. And I say, say that to people at times, and they say, yeah, but you know what? I've got a situation going on in my life, and if, if, I, if I do it this way, not going to please some of them, and if I do it that way, it's not going to please the other half. So I'm not going to make any choice and just let nature take its course. Everything's in divine order. It'll happen the way it's supposed to. That's a good idea and a good thought. I say, uh, and I replied to that person, I said, that's a great choice. And they hesitated and looked at me and said, no, you didn't hear me. I'm not making a choice. I'm going to let nature take its course and let it unfold as it does. It's in divine order. I said, that's a good choice. At that point, they got a little upset with that. 
and it's the truth. It was their choice. Not to make a choice is your choice. That's what you want to see. I get so many people come to me looking for guidance and counsel and asking, well, I want to live my life's purpose, and I don't know what my life's purpose is. Well, I'll be the first one to tell you, at this moment, everyone, everyone on planet Earth is living their life's purpose. It may not have been in the conscious choices we made, but it was choices we made in the unconscious that got us to this point. And it worked. Everything in your life up to this point has worked. And the proof is, you're here. And you're hearing this. If you weren't hearing this, then I'd say maybe you have a problem. But if you're present and alive on planet Earth, everything in your life worked up to this point. You may not have liked it, you may not have wanted done it over again, all the regrets or whatever, but it worked because we're here. Now we're aware and conscious that we made the choices, even in the unconscious, that got us to here. From this point, if we do not keep attached to the past or project into the future, we make the choices consciously based on what our experience is now then we can come to fruition and realize that we are free choice of will beings that are entitled and the deservant of our life to be who we choose to be. So we're all living our life's purpose. And then I get people say, well, I want to be a healer. I want to help people. I want to be of service to mankind. Great. Start now. Because up to this point, that's not what you were doing or doing it in ways that didn't benefit you entirely, now's the time, the present moment. We create everything in the present moment. If you're not conscious of doing that, then it's in the unconscious and you say, I didn't have a choice. That's a good choice. So think about, and here's the big question I seem to be posing to myself as well as everyone else at this point. What do you want? Not looking for an answer, but if you have an answer, please send in the emails. We appreciate your response to this show. And we look forward to it and encourage you. Because that's how we communicate and connect with people. The, the, the medium of this whole thing here, of me standing here talking and going around the world as I speak, is phenomenal. It's incredible. It's a tribute to how mankind has evolved in consciousness that we could do this. It wasn't that long ago. It would take weeks, weeks to get a message across to Europe by way of um, mail. Now it's a lot instantaneous. As we speak, you're seeing it throughout the world. That is phenomenal. That is what we are capable of because that's what we're doing. Now let's take the initiative to see what is it I want. People say, well, I want world peace and I want harmony to our kind and I want loving and I want to win the lottery. This is all good if you want to be Miss America or you want to keep doing fairy tales. What I'm talking about is what works for you. How do you align with the elements on planet Earth that come into harmony within you and, and work? satisfy all your needs and desires. That's what life's about, being in harmony within yourself, sharing it within the world. Like I said, I mean, if I took a survey and asked people, who would you like peace on earth or would you like war? In my realm, I would, I would certainly hope that it would be at least 90 to 95 percent of the people of planet earth individually would certainly want peace on earth. Well, then why don't we have it if collectively everybody wants that? And I see it as because people are looking out there for it. It's not out there. This is not the Star Trek, uh, to go where no one's gone before, the final frontier. No, right in here. Travel within, feel what's in there, see what's in there, and express that of being of service to mankind. 
within yourself serves everyone. Bless you, thank you, and we'll look forward to seeing you again soon.